Hello guys, so today I wanted to share with you guys a quick little drill that you can be doing um, by yourself or with a group of friends to improve your short game. So I really wouldn't call this a drill, I guess it's more like a game but it's great to improve your overall short game because you're gonna need some creativity there's a bit of pressure element to it and it's just fun so it's very simple, it's just you can play 9 holes, play 18 holes, whatever you want but so today I'm gonna show you guys just 9 holes and it's gonna be 3 easy chips, 3 medium difficulty chips and 3 hard chips and you're just gonna have to get them up and down um, it's very simple, you can play it as like a like a par game so like par would be two per hole the score of two per hole and then see if you get over or under par whatever it is and if you have a goal that you want to achieve go for that if not you can also do it like a point system which honestly the it would be endless what you could do with it it could be proximity to the hole you get certain amount of points um, up and down certain amount of points basically you have so much freedom to do whatever you want with this drill and yeah it's one of those that you can spend a long time on the chipping green putting green and you would be productive but it would also be fun so yeah come along and let's see how we do it today i'm just gonna go based off like a par game so a par of 18 for this game today because that would just be simpler and yeah So one thing I wanted to clarify is what I basically mean by an easy chip is if I was faced with this chip on the golf course, I would expect myself to get it up and down maybe like 90% of the time. So basically, you can just kind of see as like the percentage going down. If it's a hard chip, you know, obviously you would always want to try to get it up and down, but maybe the percentage of you getting it up and down is only about 50%. So yeah, that's just what I kind of mean by easy, medium and difficult chips. This one's a bit of a toss up between being an easy chip because it's relatively flat and like 20 yards but if you can see the discoloration on the green um, it makes it a bit more difficult because if you land it on the part where it's going into the green it's going to stop pretty quickly and if you land it past that it's going to release quite a bit and that is kind of right where the landing area is so you have to be very accurate with the landing area which is what I think makes this chip uh, difficulty medium. Even though this next chip is pretty flat and pretty straightforward, um, there is a bit of break towards the hole which makes it a bit more difficult as well. But because it is a 30 yard chip shot, I think I'm going to consider it a medium uh, difficulty level. So let's see what we can do here. So this is a 20 yard chip, I've got 6 yards of run out so I need to carry it at least 15 yards to be safe and then past that, in addition to that I am not using what I would normally use which is a 58, I'm using a 54 so I'm going to count this as difficulty level hard.
So this is definitely going to be difficulty level hard. I've only got four paces. The pin is four paces from the edge. And I'm going to put myself in a little, I'm going to walk 15 yards away. So I'm going to have a 20 yard chip with only four yards of run out. So let's see what we can do here. So that's the pin there. The greens are pretty firm, so we definitely cannot land it on the green. So I'm definitely going to have to land it short of the green and let it run up. But because I don't want it to like absolutely shoot out, like I said, it's pretty firm. So I'm going to put ball position forward, weight forward, lean forward as if it's going to run out. But I'm going to keep the face open instead of shut because if I keep it shut, it's going to release weight and come up way too hot. So let's see how we do this. So wrong line, but execution and the idea was definitely there. Just needed to take more break. So we're down to the last chip, which should be the hardest chip. But I think I'm just going to choose the hardest chip for me to pull off because um, it is pretty flat green. So there is not that much option in terms of like being creative. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to try to pull off um, a similar chip from just now with little landing area but I have to land this on the green and I like I said I'm using my 54 degree wedge and I never chip with a 54 degree wedge with the face open that's why I'm not very comfortable with it so yeah let's see how close we can get it um, if not hopefully just land it on the green give ourselves a putt and try to roll that in Distance control and height was great. Direction, <laughs> so bad. 